How's it going, everyone? Today's topic is Bay of Drowned Wishes, Master Law Sector, doing the champions of Overload and Unstoppable with a threat of Arc. This is located on the Dreaming City, so make sure you make your way all the way over. We're going to go ahead and go over our build real quick. So this is Strand uh, Warlock. It's busted right now, so definitely recommend running it. Healing Rift to keep us alive. Any movement you want. Melee is the one we got. Shackle Grenade to take care of Unstoppables. Weave Walk to give you as many Threadlings as you can. Weave Caller to give you more Threadlings and activate them with your class ability. And then we have Ascent to keep... Uh, well, Ascent, actually, we can switch out for prop prop Propagation. Or we can use Ascent. Either one works. Reloads our weapons, so... Um, we'll keep, we'll keep a scent on for now, but you can do a variety of things. You can do propagation if you need unraveling rounds, you can do warding, um, whatever you need for keeping yourself alive. But anyway, I'm going to try a scent out here to see what we got. So ascent, evolution, uh, and generation, and then continuity's blocked out. I wish they gave us two, uh, fragment slots for weave walk, but I guess it's too broken as it is. They took away one, but continuity is not as good anymore, uh, with the uh, nerfs, but it's still pretty nice to, for crowd control duration. If you're running shackle, if you're run, not running shackle, then don't even run this. We're using a fusion grenade, the strand. It's gonna pair up really nice with our, you know, getting unravels and all that stuff available or tangles. Sunshot will be our anti overload along with our machine gun. You can switch your machine gun out if you'd like. I just like using the strand machine guns to work out really well. But Sunshot's gonna be our anti overload and really easy for our red bar clears. Um, so this is a nice one to definitely use this season. The season I got buffed up. Unresilience keep us alive. Hunter discipline, get a grenade spam, throw the rest in recovery so we can have that class ability up all the time. And swarmers will have. Swarmers respawn on every tangle. You have a lot of tangles spawning, especially for your artifact here. So we want to make sure you definitely have that active. Um, you can build, you can switch asses to ash, ash, asses, ashes to assets to dynamo. Um, if for strand, is it works better for you uh, than it would with uh, uh, say something that's got a lot of grenade kills? You only get a lot of grenade kills with shackles, or usually mainly for just crowd control. We we'll use a harmonic siphon for our strand weapons. Everything else is just to you know just throw our abilities out as we need to, as we're using two strand weapon surges. Two arc, siphon, two arc resistance are definitely helpful for the unstoppable damage and everything else is just to cycle our abilities. Same thing as usual for most builds. For Strand, we want to have Thanatonic Tangles and then Element Munitions along with Chromatic Maestro. Our overload Machine Gun is nice uh, as a little bonus to help deal with those overloads for you. So let's go and get right into it. Should be a quick run. I appreciate all the support. You guys have been absolutely awesome. I got like, I think I got four subscribers in one day the other day. That's absolutely crazy. So thank you. Thank you for the support and uh, I hope you guys enjoy what I'm doing and um, definitely check out my other videos. Okay, so we're gonna make this short and sweet. Should be quick run. This, this is one of my uh, favorite ones for quick runs of last season. So glad they rolled it into this one. Wish they would unlock some other ones, but it's okay. Care, very careful of the threat, like the boss running at you. That's why I backed up because it uh he can do a lot of damage if he punches you rather than just his normal like ranged ones. Dodge two hits here, and then use my shackle. Dodge everything here. Look at the damage, it's crazy. Well, interesting how these do day one raid, that'd be awesome. I don't get sniped. Okay. 
Okay, blow up the screams. Whoops. There you go, and those blow up. Those blow up. More threadlings, the better. No more unstoppables, just the last one here. We're good to go. We don't have to deal with the, one, the, the sniper up there. Just let him go. Yeah, throw this. Doesn't matter. I just want to get the Threadlings active. And what I want to do here is stunt, or kind of just CC the overload for a second. Get my bearings with all the red bars. Then once we're ready, we can stun it uh, and we'll be in a good spot. Well, hello. He's gonna wanna, what he's gonna wanna do is go up top here, so we wanna uh, not let that happen. We're gonna just gonna super. Just to get everything prepped up for all the other mobs coming out, because these Ravengers do a lot of damage, and you don't want them just, you know, randomly coming up to you. So destroy all the bombs, then get snuck up on. Yeah, put ourselves in a good position again. We have boss and we have a bunch of mobs. So it's like, just take all the mobs out. Then worry about boss whenever you can. Not really worried about anything else here. Alright, let's get a phone call. Okay, so now we just got every red bar we can, and then we just focus boss down. I'm gonna use the rest of my heavy damage, cause why not? Whoa! Watch out for explosive mobs. I didn't kill boss, did I? I killed... Oh, he's right there. Okay, I guess I killed another links. Alright. Oh, there you go. 5 minutes, 11 seconds run. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if you want to see any other builds or whatever. I'll try to do a bunch of uh, variety of subclasses this season with all the other classes I'm doing. So uh, definitely check that out on my channel. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day.